the physios came around and saw me late on that afternoon and started immediately with, with physio treatments. So a couple of hours post that, I, I was walking um, on crutches. She assisted me on the crutches, showed me how to walk on the crutches and left to go home that evening. Hong Kong residents will be able to go home that evening or the next day. Overseas visitors usually spend two nights in hospital, while those with revisions may require an extra night in hospital. I had the operation at nine in the morning. I was up and walking probably by about four in the afternoon. Very, very difficult. I, I got on the crutches, I was helped out of bed, I was got on the crutches and had to walk 10 yards to the end of the ward room and back and exhausted, absolutely exhausted having done that. So I was in um, hospital, I believe, for two nights. Uh, so home on home on the third day. Uh, I sit at a desk all day, and I don't really have the ability to elevate my leg, which he said I needed to do for at least a week or so after the operation. So. Um, I took the whole of the following week off and then a couple of days after that, just to err on the side of caution. I probably ditched the crutches properly after about a week. Um, I'd gone on to one after about four days. I managed to get off my crutches at, at four days um, without any severe pain at all. And when I saw Aaron, he obviously he, he worked on the range of motion and made sure that, you know, that the heel contact was, was what I was supposed to be doing when you know, learning how to walk again. You'll have your first post-op physio session in 7 to 14 days. You'll also see your surgeon, be it Dr. Kong or Dr. Chan, for a quick checkup to make sure your knee is recovering properly. The grass has been taken from here, so that's why we have to protect your hamstrings for the first few weeks, so we don't get you okay. doing any heavily loaded exercises. Okay. But that's probably what's restricting you from straightening your leg at the moment, that and a little bit of swelling. Have a little feel through your calf. You've got no tenderness or anything like that through your calf at the moment? Um, it, it's sensitive to the touch, mm -hmm. but internal calf muscle is, is absolutely fine, Good. I think. You know, if the swelling in your knee comes down, then that will come a lot easier. But we, need, we do need to get you straight, because when you're walking, we need to, when you strike with your heel, we want mm. the leg to be straight, straight as you hit. And we can do a little, what we call a patella tap, so we see the kneecap just floats a little bit on the fluid there, it just bounces, so that's perfectly normal. So that swelling will come down. Can you just bend your knee up for me? Great, so you've got at least 90 degrees already. Mm. And as I say, the main restrictors at the moment will be these dressings. Yeah. Because they tend to tug as you straighten your knee. Okay. And also that swelling just pouches up into the knee there. Yeah, so yeah. there's a little bit of bruising here. Yeah, you can see the bruising come all the way down there and a little bit higher up here. That's all normal, yeah. So this is my first time to do this. And I don't know what happens to me, but I don't know what happens to me. I don't know what happens to me. If you have any questions, I will always send you a mail. I was walking around fine um, within a week. Um, but if I, went, if I walked out in the street or a crowded road, I'd take a crutch. Because uh, Cece told me just to protect myself if you need to bat off strangers on a busy road. 因为我是比性格也比较急但是也是希望我的腿恢复的比较好所以可能我做的比较多他让我做比如说伸腿五次可能我做了十次所以这样其实也不是特别好 So initially, probably for the first six weeks, there was hamstring strengthening, quad um, strengthening, and just uh, restabilizing of, of the actual leg. Clearly, it's lying flat here now. So if we have a look at this side and just see the range here, with a little bit of hyperextension. And here, that's okay. Yes. Can you bend it up for me? Just a tiny bit tight at the end, but pretty good, yeah? Nearly full range there. Scars are all healed last little bit, just waiting to come off there, the rest are all good. Kneecaps moving quite well. No swelling. Very good. The first few weeks of your rehabilitation program will be designed to start to rebuild your muscle strength. Just going to drop that on it. It was okay? Yeah. 10. Good. 
reversed. Doing this, you can certainly ramp up the resistance on the bike now. If you're not getting any reaction, then he's tolerating it very well. Then yeah, certainly start to wind up the resistance now. 所以后来我还是嗯听这个物理治疗师，还是比较嗯规嗯有规律的去见他，一个星期三次，然后慢慢慢慢我就会我觉得这个腿的越来越好。You have to really listen to what your body is telling you. When it starts to swell up, stop. <laughs> put your leg up. Put some ice on it. Listen to what your physio is saying. That's a very big part because your physio is with you more than the doctor. You've got to keep working on it, and you've got to, you know, just just put the effort in, and you've got to put the time in, and do the repetitions, and gradually, gradually, you do see the differences and feel the differences. Stage three for the physio was um, more jumping on it and and getting the body to actually be comfortable with the knee, without trying to protect itself um, from from injury. So getting that graft to start to really start working properly. That knee is. Starting to aim at me. Make sure your knee stays there. Get so your knee stays over your foot. There is one problem. It is that I initially, eh, maybe run for a few, or maybe do for three or four times a week. I already feel that there is a pain. So at that moment, I was actually scared. I was scared that I had a tear. Because I knew that my knee was very sore. It was like I had a tear on my knee at the time. 咁我即刻嗱臨去揾 Aaron， 咁佢都話冇事，係只不過係因為誒好、呃、弱啊，成成隻腳冇力。もう本当にすぐあの返事が返ってきたので、その辺は心配もなく、もし問題があってもこれはあの治る過程での一つのあの過程なので問題ないよというような一言あるだけで私の安心するのでね。You will not be able to believe how quickly those muscles disappear at one point. The top of my leg was actually skinnier than my knee, and I think that is the only time in my life my leg has been that thin. If I had any advice for for people going into an ACL reconstructive or you know thinking about doing the physio, to just block book that time and be 100% committed because the more committed you are, obviously the the quicker you recover, the better you recover, and the quicker you get back to playing the sports, which is is obviously why you would you would do the the reconstruction. 但在手术后的六到七个月以后呢，我就正式开始去上课。Within the box and training, there there is a little bit of pivoting, um, albeit probably more on the right leg, um, because my right leg would be, um, you know, behind me and my and my left leg usually in front from the the stance that I would take, um, but still there's some pivoting, um, but I've had no issue with that, and also, you know, with boxing you are kind of bouncing around on your toes a little bit. Going back to ice hockey was um, a little bit scary, I guess, um, being on ice skates. Um, but surprisingly, I felt、um, fairly comfortable and confident going on the skates. What is it? Go, I show. 人よりもまっすぐに見せなきゃいけないダンスの世界ですので、その辺は自分的にはもう完璧にダンスの上でも完璧にっていうのは。Two weeks ago, I started actually doing the contact part of the training. So the contact drills, tackling drills, a、um, little bit of scrummaging, line-out jumps, which is all the stuff that I would previously do in a game. But it was more the mental aspect, not physically what I could do, because I could do it. Um, actually, uh, today is talking about eight months, nine months. After I did the first time, I played the first time I played the first time I played the first time I played the first time. 咁我之前可能講緊一個月前都有即係睇下啲普通街場啊，即係普通 casual football 啦。咁但係冇正式即係再受過啲正統嘅訓練。咁今日係第一次啦。咁其實係個心情係好好，我唔知點講咧，好好沉，有少少誒奇怪。因為始終咁耐冇踢過波咧，你見到我其實好白噶。你你 compare 睇其他人，全部啲人都話：你做咩咁白而家 ？So it's been fourteen months after the operation and feeling good. Playing twice or once a week, sorry, and yeah, and playing in a Division Two standard, which is great. Looking to move up. So today, you in, um, I was in the process of my teaching, you saw me doing some actions. Actually, in the past, I was not allowed to do it. If it was in the past eight or nine months, I would do it. I suppose what it does do is give me some more confidence to do the occasional ad hoc activities that I would never have done done before.、Um, you know, 
be that being able to go out wakeboarding, um, rock climbing, things things that you might do on act activity holidays, um, which I would really um, steer away from before. So, yes, yeah, but it's a good thing to do with the child, and it's a good thing to do with the child, and it's a good thing to do with the child, and it's a good thing to do with the child, and it's a good thing to do with the child, and it's a good and um, looking at going back to, to Nepal probably in the beginning of the next season. So still a couple of months to go. And I started playing squash around about six months post-surgery. That's fantastic. I, uh, I was a little bit uh, nervous beforehand, especially taking impact on the knee. But uh, yeah, it was fine. We got into a few scraps and there was some impact and there was some contact, but it was fine. I didn't have any problems running or twisting. In fact, you know, I wouldn't have even known that, uh, that I'd had that injury a while ago. I'm still wearing a brace and I'll probably continue to wear a brace until I get the confidence back. But it's just fantastic to, to be playing again. I It's fantastic to be back playing, playing squash and I, I think with a little bit more effort that hopefully I'll win a game someday. <laughs>